Hello and thank you for joining on this new kind of podcast that I'm going to have to do during the coronavirus because obviously there's no training videos. Anyway, on this uh, quick podcast we have Matty Pollock. Um, So Matty, uh, what's it like being in isolation for you? Very frustrating because you want to be out playing um, football every day, getting better and stuff, doing training. But I think the biggest part is not seeing all the boys and just being part of it. It's boring being back home, uh, missing the banter and stuff what goes on at the training ground and the hard work, really. It's just frustrating because it's nothing really to look forward to. Training during the weekend and again on the Saturday is what you look forward to. And obviously, with being in isolation, you have nothing really to do. So it's frustrating, but obviously, you just got to keep ticking over with the fitness work and stuff. So. Um, what has the programme that's been put in place uh, for you been like to keep fit? The, the programme that uh, Greg's done for us is really tough. Um, it's got different types of running, so like more like a bit of long distance and uh, short and sharp stuff as well. So just to take over, obviously, while we're in isolation, to keep like as fresh as we can and fit as we can. But it's also getting the balance so we're not tired and run down, especially when we go back, obviously. Um, so now it's, it's a good good program. Um, I don't think it's too hard. I don't think it's too easy. So obviously it's, it is hard, very hard. But um, it's also a couple of runs that are enjoyable and stuff. So now a really good balance and it's good and hard. So what we need. If if um if the season is to be voided, where do you think Town uh, would have finished in the table? Yeah, obviously if the league was to go ahead, um, I'd feel confident in trying to finish as high as we can. I mean, we're thirteenth now. Um, there's no reason why with the players we've got and obviously with the with the way we're going, I think there's no reason why we couldn't really push on um, to go as high as we can and hopefully get in and around the playoffs. Obviously, that's what the aim is. But I think I think we can all. We, I think we can definitely go up a few more places and really push for it um, and see where we can finish at the end of the season. Really, what has been the most um, memorable moment of the season so far for you? I think the um, most memorable moment of the season for me is probably. Uh, the week of my birthday where I played Chelsea on the Wednesday, although the result obviously didn't go the way we wanted to, obviously mad experience playing in front of that many fans and obviously at Stamford Bridge against some players who are obviously massive inspiration to me um, and who are obviously top, top athletes. Um, but also to be Exeter on the Saturday on my birthday for my 18th, I think, just top the week off. Um, Obviously, I just had an unbelievable birthday week. was with the lads all the week as well. So, now I really enjoyed that week. I'd probably say that was my most memorable um, moment. Obviously, there's been a lot this season from obviously starting my first league game and stuff like that. But now I think, I think the biggest one was probably Chelsea. Yeah. Also, I know you have a lot of uh, partnerships at the back, but what what's it like playing with uh, Ludwig Oman uh, at the back? Yeah, playing with uh, Luda is quality I mean he's daft as uh, we get on really well and he like I said I think he he helps me out massively he speaks to me a lot during the game um, and you know if anything's coming in the box he's going to be probably the first there to head it and uh, defend it so now it's really good playing with him and I enjoy it and obviously we've got a really good relationship on and off the pitch so really good to be like mates with him and playing on the pitch I really enjoy it What are your aims for yourself and town for next season? Um, for next season, the aims is obviously to finish as high as we can. Um, try and, for me personally, I think try and stay in the team from the start of the season to the end, just being around it and do as best as I can. But for the team, I think we've got to push for as high as we can. Um, try and outdo what we've done this season um, and just really go for it. I think we've got the players and obviously staff that we can and all the lads believe in what we're doing and um, it's really enjoyable to be part of it and I'm just enjoying every every bit of it. So now I think next season the aim is to go as far as we can and uh, see where it takes us. And finally, do you have a message for the fans uh, during this this tough time without football? Um, I'd just like to say, obviously, a massive thank you for every every like away following this season. Um, I think it's been massive for the lads, uh, obviously giving us a big boost when we've been down in games or when we've been winning, just having us behind us has been absolutely excellent. Um, and I really enjoyed playing for the team and obviously winning games as well. Um, so now it's a big thank you and I look forward, obviously, hopefully to seeing, seeing the fans a few more times at the end of this season and um, more next season. So just a massive thank you and let's try and build on this together and go as far as we can this season and next. So another a massive thank you. All the fans have been absolutely excellent so far.